Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 25 October 2024. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly contributing editor online Darren Parker writes that greater coordination is needed to realize green hydrogen aspirations. Despite enthusiasm for the development of a hydrogen economy from the public and private sectors, there remains a significant lack of coordination to effectively implement projects and bring the dream of a green hydrogen economy to life. The engineering news features focus on embedded electricity solutions, where private renewable energy projects accelerate energy sector growth and personal protective equipment, where new boots provide high temperature and voltage protection. The Mining Weekly features focus on open cast mining, where a flagship Springs colliery is set to start construction. Minerals Council South Africa profile, where an industry body says beneficiation should be company driven. And an Electromining Africa review, where the fruits of a newly inked deal were on show at the exhibition. This week's business leader is Branislav Bibik, the Area VP for Sub-Saharan Africa at Philip Morris International. And as this week's cartoon shows, business and the markets have reacted positively to South Africa's government of national unity. Cooperation also seems to be the order of the day in many departments and provinces. South Africa's economic heartland of Gauteng, however, is sticking out like a sore thumb in its overt and covert moves to undermine the GNU. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.